Hello everyone, I'm Dr Simon O'Kane of Imperial College London and I'm here to talk about my work on modelling lithium plating and using it to pinpoint the physical origin of the voltage plateau and differential voltage minimum that is observed when lithium plating occurs. It's well known that a voltage plateau occurs in the standard voltage versus capacity plot if you do a discharge immediately after a fast charge, or if you, in a voltage versus time graph, if you rest after a fast charge, which is associated with lithium plating. In 2014, Petzl and Dancer proposed a method of quantifying lithium plating by differentiating the voltage capacity plot where the plateau turns into a minimum. And they hypothesized that the capacity at which the minimum occurs is the capacity of lithium that was plated. So in 2018, two different groups uh, conducted computer modeling of the lithium plating and stripping process, and they both found that the minimum corresponds pretty much precisely to the end of stripping, where the standard deintercalation reaction takes over. But there were two problems with the studies. They didn't use any control studies with no plating and they relied on unrealistic assumptions regarding the diffusion of lithium ions in graphite. So on the left are the measured values of the uh, log diffusion coefficients of lithium ions in graphite versus the stoichiometry from, from two different papers and three different experiments. And qualitatively, they all agree that the diffusion coefficient is almost nothing except for near where the phase transitions occur between the different phases of lithiated graphite. Whereas on the right are what was assumed in the simulations, where it's much smoother, and in one case, uh, there's no variation at all. So in this work, we're going to use the with more realistic diffusion coefficients, specifically the yellow curve on the left, put that into the model and see what happens. First, I'm going to talk about the previous experimental work done by my imperial colleagues. What's special about this study is they did a control study. They measured the slow discharge both before and after the fast charge as denoted by the black and red line, respectively. Uh, they also use two different types of thermal management. On the left, is the results from natural convection, where the cell was placed in a zero degree climate chamber, resulting in 25 degrees of cell heating during charge and cooling during discharge. Whereas on the right is the case where the cell was conductively cooled to keep the surface temperature constant at zero degrees. So I've now swapped the two so the conductive cooling is on the left. There are two minima observed. Uh, one is very early on, the second significantly later, whereas in the control study before the first charge, only one minimum is observed. But for the natural air convection case, uh, there is only one minimum in both cases, yet when the cell was taken apart afterwards, significant lithium plating was found in both cells. So what's going on? That's where the modelling was going to come in. The model chosen was the pseudo 2D Newman style model, which was implemented using console. Uh, how the Newman cell model works is all equations but one consider only one spatial dimension, the cell thickness x. Each point in x is occupied by fractions of electrolytes, active material and inactive material, which does nothing. One equation is different, which is the diffusion equation for lithium ions and the spherical particles. 
that takes place in a second dimension, the particle radius r. This model is not thermally coupled and instead a dynamic temperature profile is applied based on the surface temperature measurements made by my experimental colleagues. Critical parameters for this lithium plating model are the open circuit potential and lithium ion diffusion coefficient in the graphite negative electrode on which the lithium is plated. So if you look at the open circuit potential on the left, uh, between the phase transitions, the open circuit potential is completely flat. It's only at the phase transitions that there's any variation at all. And on the right is an unlogged version of the diffusivity graph I showed you earlier. Uh, and again, you see that only at the phase transitions is the diffusion coefficient uh, even visible. Uh, between the phase transitions, it's virtually zero. So we're going to put those into the model and see what happens. On the left is the experiment where the surface temperature was kept constant, and on the right is the simulation. In both cases, there are the results before and after the fast charge. It, the simulation gives you the additional luxury of being able to turn the plating on and off at will. So the red dashed line is where the plating is turned off after the fast charge. Uh, and what happens is the model is able to predict both differential voltage minima in the case where plating is enabled. In the case where plating is disabled, it looks very similar to what happens with no fast charge at all. Uh, then the self-heating simulation is more interesting. Uh, because unlike in the experiments, both differential voltage minima are still there, but they are shifted. They occur sooner than they, than they did for the constant temperature case. But it's, I like this result because it shows very clearly what's happening. And what's happening is the single minimum predicted by the model with no plating is split into two when plating is enabled. That's what's going on. Uh, why is that going on? We'll find out. Another luxury of modeling is you can track how much lithium metal is in the cell uh, at any given time. That's been plotted here and it turns out lithium stripping persists long after the dB minimum. The actual cause of the minimum is a phase transition from stage two of lithiated graphite to stage three. And the reason it occurs so much more abruptly and sooner than in the case without plating is because the lithium plating uses up lithium ions that would otherwise be used to make stage two, causing a shortage of stage two the transition occurs sooner. One last control study, uh, we replaced the uh, diffusion coefficient with all the peaks with just a flat line. The dV minimum disappears if you increase the lithium plating but the Volmer constant, it comes back, but the physics has now changed the minimum does mark the end of stripping. So what have we learned? The differential voltage minimum associated with lithium stripping is widely believed to mark the end of the stripping process, but our simulations show the minimum is in fact a sharper, more abrupt version of a minimum that occurs anyway, even with no plating. This knowledge does not rule out the possibility of using the minimum to detect plating, but does cast doubt on the possibility. And finally, using an experimentally backed concentration dependent lithium ion diffusion coefficient in graphite is essential 
to simulating lithium plating properly. Thank you very much for your attention. I'll be back from holiday next Monday, eager to see what questions you might have. You can submit your questions via Twitter, email, the comment section of this video, or on Slack. Once again, thank you and have a great rest of your day.